Well, there certainly is some action in the Gulf of Mexico now, and it's called Tropical Storm Nicholas, and it is heading up the uh, Mexico coast to the north, so it will be arriving in Texas by about late Monday into Tuesday. Of course, even by early uh, Monday morning or late Monday morning, we could be seeing those first impacts in the form of rain. And yes, that is our primary impact. We're not talking about uh, overly strong winds. Uh, this is a wet event for us. It's going to be at the nature of this tropical storm. We don't have it all figured out, though. There's still some uncertainties as to the exact storm track, and the track itself is very important because that's going to dictate who gets the heaviest of rain, and that heavy rain might be prompting some flooding issues for some areas. This is Tropical Storm Nicholas as of about 6 p.m. this evening, and it's still a tropical storm. It should stay a tropical storm as it works towards Texas. It's not completely out of the realm of possibility that by the time it gets to Corpus Christi could be a category one hurricane, but right now latest indications staying a tropical storm. Now, once it moves inland, it should be crawling over the Brazos Valley and taking a few days to leave by about say Wednesday or Thursday. But if the center of the storm moves over the Brazos Valley, that's still good news for us because the heaviest rain is going to be on the east side of the, uh, the storm. So that could leave quite a bit of uh, rain concentration for the coast but it could leave us out of the wettest picture, which would be some good news. So we'll start to see the first bands of rain and embedded thunderstorms spitting off of that storm by about noon on Monday, and the greater chances are going to be down towards the Brazos Valley. You guys are closer to the tropical storm itself, and then those will work northwestward, kind of breaking up a bit, but still leaving a chance of rain for central Texas. Tuesday, the same thing, but you'll notice, at least with these model runs, the heaviest rain is staying out of the picture. That should stay south and east of here if the current forecast track holds for Tropical Storm Nicholas, but some variations in that could change, and of course that could change who sees the most rainfall, which is why we'll be paying close attention to it. We'll be keeping those temperatures in the 80s for the time being, but once we start to see more sunshine going into the weekend, we'll have those temperatures warm up and we'll be back in the mid-90s before too long.